Welcome to your Active's EU Tweets of the Week. Member states struggle to contain coronavirus disease. In Brussels, Greta Thunberg lectures MEPs. And a new migration crisis causes unease. This episode is sponsored by Luke Oil. More about them later on. As half the world panics about the new coronavirus, COVID-19, the first case in the EU Brussels bubble was confirmed on Wednesday. Euractiv had the story about a staffer at the European Defence Agency. Later the same day, the EU Council sent an email to staff notifying them about another case in the institution, reported Jim Brunsden, bringing the grand total of COVID-19 cases in the EU institutions to a terrifying two. Nonetheless, the European Parliament decided to close its doors to visitors. 130 events expected to be attended by 7,000 people have been cancelled. S&D MEP Timo Volken was distraught at the lack of romance allowed. No hugs, no kissing. This would never have happened under Juncker, he said. Activate protocol Selmayr, suggested MEP assistant, while spoof account Martini Seltzmeyer itself is working smarter, not harder. Washed my hands for a full hour, so now I don't have to do it again all week, he tweeted. OK. Elsewhere, one European Parliament assistant just stretched out his elbow towards people on the corridor, and no one knew what to make of it, reported Alexandra Brozowski. Wash your hands like you've been chopping jalapenos and need to change a contact lens, advised Ron Vazina. Tell that to the Belgians. Once again, they win the internet. There were no concerns about crowds and coronavirus, however, when Greta Thunberg came to the European Parliament on Wednesday. Take it from me, we were packed in there like sardines. She also stopped by to talk to Franz Timmermans, who gave her credit for the new climate law. We wouldn't be here discussing it had it not been for her and the young generations that continue to push us to make a change, he said. Unfortunately for him, Greta was quick to tell the MEPs that the proposed deal is a surrender deal because nature doesn't bargain and you cannot make deals with physics. Oliver Grimm joked that the PR stunt to invite her to the Green Deal launch worked really, really well. And James Crisp said it was an embarrassment to the EU. Finally, staying with crises this week, the refugee situation on the Greek-Turkish border is escalating. Commission President Ursula von der Leyen said, We send a very clear statement of European solidarity and support to Greece. We will hold the line and our unity will prevail. I thank Greece for being Europe's aspira. That's a shield to you and me. Trump has a wall, we have some fancy Greek word for it, tweeted Diego Velázquez. And Dudley Curtis reckons the EU is channeling Tarantino in the Greek visit PR picks. This week we are sponsored by Luke Oil, who this week presented their Energy 2035 Outlook. To find out more, follow them online. Finally, our favourite tweet this week is from the inimitable Burley Monster, who totally nailed it, saying, Coronavirus is the new GDPR. Join me again next Friday, and remember you can nominate yourself for that tweet of the week. Just use the hashtag EUTweets and we'll give a shout out to our favourites.